Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 39. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we are doing is we are going to be doing the 600 performance point World Touring Cup Championship. That is a mouthful to say. And we are taking the G37 again for this one. Um, so what it's going to be, it's going to be exactly the same as the last episode. The same races, just more powerful vehicles. So we're starting off on Grand Valley Speedway. Moving on to Tokyo R246. And then on to a Mount Panorama. Uh, we're getting about 42,000 per race, and our typical cars are Nissans, Audis, and Pretzes, those kind of things. Let's do this. Here we go. The suspense in the music is kicking in. Grand Valley Speedway. Here we go. So we're looking at McLaren F1 GTRs, GTR Nismos, Corvettes, uh, R8 Le Mans cars. And Impressor Touring Cars. Nice. Uh, let's just make sure our traction control's on two. I don't want to be on one because I feel like there's a bit too much horsepower in this car. So let's do this. Right, let's do this. Oh, let's change the camera angle. Something a little bit more friendly for us. Right, let's try and get past the Audi here. Right, come on. I feel like we're going to have our work cut out with uh, these races now. Because they are getting more and more difficult. Get out of the way! Right, we got the BMW touring cars up ahead. Right, come on, let's overtake. Perfect. Nice. Awesome, perfect. That is nearly the first lap done. And we will have overtaken... Oh, nearly wiped out there. So we've overtaken three cars so far. And we are losing time on first place. This might be making our life a little bit difficult right now. Nice. There's two cars overtaken so far on this lap. And we've got three cars bunched up together. Just over here. There's actually a fight for uh, seven plates going on up in front. And it looks like the Mercedes SLS has lost that fight. Here we go, coming up behind the SLS. Very nice. Is that an NSX? The NSX is honestly an amazing car. Right, here we go, slowing down. We got an NSX, a Corvette, and a GTR up in front. Oh. 
squeezing through there. Perfect. Nice. Right, we are we have now got four more cars to overtake and we have three laps to do that in. That is plenty of time to do it. Perfect. Right. Hopefully by the start of the next lap we will have caught up with those other cars. We are slowly catching up. Twelve seconds behind now. Last lap we were about twenty, so Perfect. This is looking very good for time. Hopefully I don't accidentally quit the championship again as well. Because we did that last time. I still haven't gone back to it. I think I'll do that tonight. Perfect. Right, we have now caught up to the other cars. This lap is going to be focusing on those first, uh, those last three. Because then we can use the entire of the final lap to catch up with that person in first. Though, to be fair, the rest of the pack has caught up with that car for me. So I could probably rely on these cars to actually get me up to first. Via slipstreaming. Perfect. Right, let's see. Snap out. Here's the McLaren F1. Oh, not great. Go, go, go. Right, it's our time to shine now. Let's do this. Two minutes behind first place. We've got a Nissan GTR up in front, one of the um, LM cars, I think. Those ones aren't four wheel drive, they're rear wheel drive, so they're a little bit slower at taking corners. Come on, squeeze through. We have the Ford GT there as well. What is the Nissan doing? Right, keep it in third because we go higher than second gear through there. 
Come on, come on, come on. We're doing very well right now. Whoa. Maybe not, but mounting the curb there got us around the corner so much quicker. Oh, no. We messed up big time. We didn't get first. Oh, we were doing so well. Oh, well, we came second. That's not a problem. As long as we don't come second in any of the rest of the races. The last two, we need to come first. There's not an if or a but or a maybe. We have to come first. 9 minutes and 26 seconds for that race though. Awesome. Let's take out a very small amount of money because we didn't come first. 27,000 credits. Nice. Let's go. Right, here we are at Tokyo. Hopefully we don't roll our car like we did last time. That was uh, a bit of a nightmare. We actually managed to roll it twice. <laughs> it was it was really funny, honestly, because it was the exact same corner. Um, I think it was like one of the second to last corners. Exact same corner, twice in a row on the first and the final lap. It ruined our race. Oof. I forgot we're on the bonnet cam and not the... The camera angle is on the bonnet, not the roof. So it's a little bit wider from this angle. That was terrible. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Awesome. Now. Uh, not so great there. It is this corner here that we managed to flip twice on. These cars are a little bit too quick for this track. I would say this track wasn't designed for fast cars. In fact, many of the original tracks I don't think were designed for fast cars. Which is why I think Gran Turismo 7 has a lot of redesigned tracks. Gran Turismo 7 is probably out now. Like, I'm recording this on... It's like two days before July. June 28th. And... I think this is probably coming out on like the 10th of October. Or something like that. Perfect. They haven't given us enough laps for this these races. I feel like an extra lap would help. Right, watch out for this corner here. Very good.
Nice. Right, we have six more cars in front of us. Speed is key. Maybe a little bit early on the brakes there for that corner. Careful. Don't want to spin the car out either. We don't want to roll it and we don't want to spin it. Perfect. And PlayStation is too hot. Nice. I have a feeling we're not going to get first in this one either. That Ford GT. As long as we win the championship, I'm not fast. seconds now. We need to get 8 seconds per lap. Come on, come on. Nice, nice, nice. No way have we not caught up with any of them. That is ridiculous. These challenges are definitely getting harder and harder. We are 10 seconds behind though. Do not spin me out. All the other cars are bunched up at the moment. It is possible. We have done miracles in the past. Ah, we're not going to do one today though. Seven seconds.
Yeah, if we have one more lap, this track is too short for this. Ah. Uh. It's way too short. What was the fastest lap time then? Because we were six seconds behind. That's a GTR GT500. That's in the wrong championship. How is that allowed? <laughs> I think we might have to get our... I'll probably off-camera jump into the... Um, GTR, the GTR touring car. Just put a performance limiter on and use that. Because that car is overpowered. But I wanted to mix it up a little bit. But we came fourth in that championship. Uh, well, we've got one more race, but if you look, we have to make sure that the 4 GT doesn't earn any more than 25 points, which is eighth position. That's not going to happen. So, uh... <laughs> We failed this championship as well. Right, let's do this. We are here at Mount Panorama for the final race of the 600 performance point touring car championship. Everything is loading in as we're talking. Now, this track is much, much longer than the rest of the tracks. Um, so, as well as being a longer race today, we should be able to get a chance of getting a gold medal at some point. We got airtime, crazy airtime through there. All the cars are bunching up after the first uh, main straight. What are you doing? We are already in sixth and we are about 50 seconds in. That normally happened within four minutes on both of the previous races. In fact, actually, it took three laps of Tokyo to get to six. And we are currently in a fifth place battle with a SLS, which I have just overtaken and taken the fifth. If we do manage to win a gold trophy on this championship, then I won't have to redo the entire championship. Uh, but I have a feeling we won't, so I'm going to be doing it anyways. And here we go. On to the long main straight now. And for some reason, the cars in first place are just gone. 7 seconds behind. Holy shit. That didn't go to plan. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, that was horrible. So we definitely have to break a little bit earlier. I think as soon as we hit the corner will be our ideal breaking point. Perfect. Let's try and get some time now. Eleven seconds. Very close to the wall there, for some reason. And this should be the area. As long as we keep the car under control, where we gain time. Because AI cars are not great on Mount Panorama. They never have been.
come on. Oh my gosh, you didn't move out of the way. That's normally rule number one of racing etiquette. If a car is flying behind you, you should move out of the way. But then again, another rule of racing etiquette is if you're about to crash into a car, you should crash your car out as to not affect other people's races. Yeah, which we never follow. We always end up crashing into other people's cars. I feel like most of the time the races are decided by your first lap. If your first lap is dreadful, then you're going to have no chance of getting a win. If your first lap is good like ours was... Nice. Come on. Right, now is the section where we are really going to start overtaking. And there we go. That is how you do an overtake. Right, so the other cars have the uh, capability of slipstreaming right now. Um, so they could overtake us, but so far we seem to be picking up the pace very nicely. Awesome. Right, we are three seconds behind, so hopefully we can get enough time to overtake. Come on, we have two laps. Two laps to do this in. We can get at least one win in this episode. That is very close. I want to be cheeky and try and like sabotage his race, but it's toxic. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I'll just redo the race off camera. That's what it'll end up having to be. Perfect. Right, we are in first place. So we have to make sure that we maintain that position though. Because if we lose it, well, we may as well have not bothered. Lost it, lost it, lost it. Right. It's time to regain that position now. One, two, three. Probably about six seconds behind. 4.8, okay. 
That's okay. That's all right. Oh, no. If I've actually lost this, I'm going to be gutted. The car lost grip, and it just went straight off the track. And as soon as you go off the track, you've got no braking power whatsoever. Right, we are catching up. Get out of my way! Yeah, that's what I thought, Ford. Get back. Stay off my turf. Right, we're going to play this safe. Because we can use defensive measures. Right, the car is right behind us. No! What are you doing? Why have we got a black screen? Oh, Jesus. I am so glad I paused that and waited for it to load. Oh, I had a heart attack. I genuinely had a heart attack. We got the win though. 0 0.3 seconds ahead. Oh! Do you know what? I'm actually tempted to update the game right now just to see if that fixes the bug fit. The um, black screen bug. Because I don't want that. Oh, that gave me a heart attack like hell. Right, let's see. I have a feeling we didn't win. But we could have come second. If we come, came second, that's decent. Tell me we came second, please. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Don't do this to me, game. Right, so we came first for the event. And overall, on the leaderboard rankings, second. Yeah, the Ford didn't uh, want to let up that first place. Silver. Awesome. Looks like I'm going to have to redo that one and the last championship. Lovely. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. I will take you